good afternoon children so let's start with chapter 8 that is human environment human environment interactions the tropical and the subtropical regions so here first we it is like one girl is just seeing at one girl's place a name renuka his uncle his name was shrikant okay so uncle shrikant has come he was a wild photographer and for photography he used to travel to long long distances and this girl a small little girl she was very fascinated and she was very liking it she used to love watching those pictures which were the pictures which were removed by her uncle okay now one of the picture which uncle had removed was this which we can see in the textbook over here we see see how different type of people are the dressing sense is different their color skin color is different their hairstyles are different so many different things you find in them but all have the same lifestyle like all go to work to earn money they all need happiness so they enjoy festivals they eat different different types of school food correct and they all work children go to school so everywhere if you go to see though you find people in different different areas they all are somewhere or the other similar many similarities you will find now children we talk about the different tropical areas like for example we talk about the amazon basin now where is amazon basin situated children amazon basin is if you go to see in the map over here can you see the zero degree zero degree means equator correct and you will see amazon basin is exactly on the equator and little bit towards more breaded towards spreaded towards tropic of cancer so from this only first thing you can make out get the direct sun rays come falls over there correct on the equator area direct sun rays falls and day and night will be equal so how will be the climate over there it will be hot it will be humid and because too much direct hot sun uh, hot uh, too much of heat over there so rainfall also evaporation takes place faster and so there is also evo uh, you can say rainfall throughout the year so the climate in amazon basin if you go to see amazon basin or the uh, river is very hot and it is wet also because it goes on raining also correct and we feel like very sticky like sweaty sweaty okay it is very humid climate car type of climate now amazon basin because it is raining whole year there is a dense forest means the area is full of uh, huge areas of covered with forest and the forest plants are so huge that they don't allow the branches and the stems they don't allow see the branches i will show you how it is oh yeah yeah can you see this see all the trees are so much connected to each other they hardly they allow the sun's rays to reach the ground okay so the ground remains smashy only because of rainfall and no sun falling over there now children in amazon basin because of such climate you find lot of plants 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 and you find lot of wild animals over there okay and birds over there and over here day and night are equal 12 hours day and 12 hours night correct and at day time it is very hot and at night it is very very cold the temperature falls to a great extent that is it becomes very cold now we talk about as i said about the plants correct the plants are so dense that they don't allow the sun's rays to fall on the ground and because of this you find well where a large variety of dangerous animals also living in amazon basin like anaconda panthers these all you will find over here and you will find beautiful birds also 
like see the picture given over here that is a token okay words like token hemming hemingo then mesco so these different types of birds you will find in amazon basin and animals like monkey slot then see over here one new animal for us this this is called a tapir okay it eats ant from the ground so you find different types of animals over here and the dangerous one which are the ones that you like because it is uh, like the danger animals uh, you find over there are crocodiles snake panthers anacondas okay and boa boa is also one of the animals the dangerous ones and because amazon basin it's a river so the coastal area the side of the river the corners of the river that is the coastal areas over there you find lot of fishes you also you find fishes like pirana okay and many other spices of fishes you find over there so you find a lot of variety of birds animals over in amazon basin now children because the climate is such and there are it is fully densely forest area it is and there are wild animals over there so hardly you will find people staying over there people will be staying on in the boundary borders borders you can say borders of amazon river near the coastal okay but it is not densely populated rarely you will find people over there and the people living over there what will be their occupation what will be their work because it is a sea coast one is fishing and another because it is a forest area hunting so fishing and hunting are the main occupations okay now as you know staple food like south indian staple food is idli and idli dosa and sambar like punjab is the alu paratha same way the staple food of the people living in amazon basin is cassava cassava is somewhat like potatoes only okay and side by they also grow few crops and which crops they grow so that is sweet potato pineapple and taploka okay these are three types of vegetables which are grown in the boundaries of amazon basin and the staple food is also known as manioc manioc which is another word known as cassava that is to grow under the ground like a potato okay it is a food it is a vegetable which grows like potato under the ground and these people also eat green ants and eggs eggs means they eat all the insects also and they grow crops cash crops means from which you can sold and get money they go they grow cash crops like coffee maize and cocoa okay and the houses in which they live the near the basin those houses are known as malaco what are they known as malaco okay they are slant they have slanting roof why because there is rainfall throughout the year so that the water does not get accumulated they don't not not get collected on the roof so the roofs are made slanting okay so this is what about the people of amazon people living surrounded to amazon basin and children in amazon basin because it is a river even navigation takes place navigation means ships coming and going so there will be transfer of different types of goods from one place to another forest goods like wood we wood timber you can say wood timber wax rubber this all can be passed on from one place to another
now same way this is about amazon basin now we talk about another basin that is ganga brahmaputra basin which is in india even this is situated near the equator okay see the map over here got it it is very much situated near the equator and over here you will find different types of landforms you will find plateaus also plains also mountains also clear and the tributaries of ganga and brahmaputra which spreads along the whole country they are known by different names like gagra san chambal ganta kosi okay these are the different tributaries tributaries means the from the main river they make a path and they go into different different places okay through channels these are called no the channels are known as tributaries now children the plains of ganga means the flat lands of ganga and brahmaputra the mountains and the forest these are all you find in ganga brahmaputra basin okay if you go to see even this taj mahal taj the back side of taj mahal is yamuna river correct yamuna river is again a part of ganga river it's a tributary of ganga river correct so people come as a tourist over there and you find animals like reindeers and uh, people staying in those areas their staple food is fish and rice okay in ganga brahmaputra they don't eat uh, ants and all that they eat fish and rice you also find animals like bengal tiger crocodiles these all over here monkeys deers tigers reindeers the common animals that you find in this basin now see over here see the trees and see how beautiful it is a clean lake over here but now children because of we human beings the lakes are see how it is polluted before it was so clean but now it is full of pollution see so we should try not to pollute things okay yeah and these both basins are also a tourist place and it forms different oxford lakes and all okay so children in this chapter we have learned about the two types of basins that is the amazon basin and the ganga brahmaputra basin okay children see you tomorrow till then see you bye bye